Okay, in this video, let's learn how to graph y is equal to something like 2 sine, um, I don't know, 2x graph, where you have a term, that's a, and the coefficient for x, which is called b term. Okay, so things like y is equal to 1 half cosine 3x, so stuff like that. Okay. So let's graph the uh, first example that I showed you. S 2 sine 2x. Okay. So I'm going to draw my um, x, y axis. Let me see. Hold on. Right. And as before, the maximum for sine will be 1, minimum will be negative 1, and amplitude is 2, just like before. Oh, before we didn't talk about amplitude, but this A, this A right there, shows you uh, how high or how, how low it will go from the midline. So that's actually 2, so let's have all the way up to positive 2 and negative 2. And then this term B will determine the period of a sign. So to get the period, which is one complete cycle, period, is for sine and cosine, it's always 2 pi over that B term, which is, in this case, 2. And you cancel it, so period is pi. So instead of 2 pi here, I'm going to have pi, because one complete cycle is pi now. So you cut that in half, which makes pi over 2. Again, when you want to have it in degrees, this pi is 180 degrees, and pi over 2 is 90 degrees. Okay? But I'm going to stick with the with radians. And then cut that in half, which makes pi over 4. And then this guy, the easiest thing that you could do is, you know how one increment is pi over 4? So you go pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. Okay? If you think about it that way, it's a lot easier. And then, just like the um, the first lesson, y is equal to sine x. If it's sine, it's going to go through 0, 0. And then one, one unit to the right, you have to go up to because here's that amplitude. So you plot it over there. It's going to come back down. And at 3 pi over 4, it's going to go all the way up to, all the way down to negative 2. It's going to come back again. So, and then make your, uh, trace your curves like that. So this is just one, it goes on and on, okay? This is just one cycle or one period of sine, okay? Let's do cosine in one video. So let's say this time we have, let's work with different numbers. Let's say we have y is equal to, I don't know, Let's do one half now, one half, and then we do cosine. This time, let's have four x. Okay. So again, we need to draw our x y axis. And then, since our b term is four, so our period is two pi over b, which is four. In this case, I'm going to write 4 here, which reduces down to pi over 2. So that's our period. Again, somewhere far here, um, instead of 2 pi, now it's pi over 2. And then we're going to cut that in half, multiply by 1 half, or pi over 4. Cut in half again, that's pi over 4. I, I'm sorry, pi over 8. And then you know how I showed you this is 1 pi over 8, 2 pi over 8, so this must be 3 pi over 8. Okay? And then because of amplitude, or A term is 1 half, instead of going all the way up to 1, this is our maximum, 1 half. Oopsie, hold on. And then we're going to, the minimum point will be negative 1 half. Since it's cosine, um, we start 
here. Okay. And then once to the right, go down, and then go down one more. Come back up and to our maximum point. So and then you just graph. So this is our one half y is equal to one half cosine four x graph. Okay. Let's talk about um negative ones. So for example, and this works with the same thing with the uh, cosine as well. Let's have y, in this case negative, I don't know, 3. And then we do sine of, let's have, for fun, let's have pi x in this case, where b is pi now. Okay? So again, let's draw our x, y axis. period is going to be 2 pi over our b term, which is pi in this case. Okay? It's okay to have just numbers. So period is 2. So instead of having 2 pi over here, I'm just going to write 2. Half that, it's 1. Half that, it's 1 half. This is 1 over 2, 2 over 2, and then 3 over 2. Okay? And then instead of 1, we have to go up 3, maximum point then down 3 for minimum point. Okay, Since it's negative, instead of starting, uh, we're going to start 0, 0 again because this is a sign. Instead of going up, we have to go down Okay, because of the negative. Well, if, if it's positive, it's going to look like this. But when we have negative outside, everything's reflexive over x-axis. Okay, So it's negative. So I'm going to go 1 to the right, and then amplitude is 3, so I'm going to go 3 down, and then come back up, keep going up, all the way up to maximum, and then come back down, and then just graph. Nice and curvy. So that's our y is equal to negative 3 sine pi x.